I definitely think so. It, what we're seeing definitely within PayPal is a blurring of the lines from offline and online payments. Um, it's getting to the point where people, when they leave the house, they'd much rather leave their wallet than their mobile phone. So as we're, we're seeing this change in the industry, a lot of pay, uh, payment companies like PayPal are on top of the industry and really building into uh, existing systems so that you don't have to bring your wallet with you. So your entire presence is online. In the past, what, what PayPal really had was a really solid platform. We have an amazing risk management system uh, that maintains an industry low fraud rate of 0.26%. Uh, it's uh, very, very low, and that's all because of the massive, uh, massive people in the industry that we have that uh, that support those those initiatives. And beside that, what we're trying to do as a company now is revitalize our, our developer efforts. So myself, I lead developer evangelism in North America, and we're all about uh, showcasing our products, talking with developers, and figuring out what they like about PayPal, what uh, what we can improve on, and and really just what they're looking for is. A lot of a lot of startups. The biggest problem that they're running into is that they take a lot of investor money right off the right off the bat, so they're accountable to the investors. And as they're building out features, they keep uh, they keep being pushed to build features and punch features, but not really thinking about how they'll make money or stand on their own beyond the funding that they're getting. But the more funding you give away, the more uh, pieces of your company you give away. The less user traffic you give, the la larger percentage you have to give away for money. But really. At the base level, there's a lot of companies out there, a lot of startups that are building off the core concept that that uh, you should monetize early and you should think of innovative monetization strategy, whether that be digital, physical, uh, data. Uh, all of these mechanisms provide amazing avenues for monetization. Well, thus far from everything I see, it's an amazing, amazing situation. So you have developers that are around here just, just setting up to, to program and, and interact with each other. Uh, most, I've seen this type of interface within hackathons where there's a share, shared purpose going towards it, but this is an amazing atmosphere to see. Uh, there's a lot of energy coming out of this and definitely the open, openness of this entire, uh, this entire avenue where people are having these open discussions uh, really lends itself to hearing developer feedback and learning from the developer audience and, and really just growing as a professional in the industry. When you have an idea in the industry, just go after it. The last thing you want to do is, at the end of your life, have regrets and be able to say, I wish I would have done that. So entrepreneurs that I see in the space, they're just going after it. And, and you know, I, I am a firm believer in, in getting a, a full education and having that as a background. I don't believe in, in uh, the entrepreneurs who are leaving college to start, to start a startup just because it's a backbone for everything that you're going to be building upon. But at the same time, these amazing ideas come when, you're, when you, you see these issues in the industry. And most, of the, most successful startups I have, I, I've seen, they come from, uh, from people who just ha see deficiencies in the industry. They see deficiencies in the world and they want to fix it for themselves or others. And that's the key to building a startup is really believing in what you're doing and, and, and just pushing it and having the passion behind it.